When Cynthia Parks opened Parisian Wigs in 1964, it was the only wig shop in Crenshaw. She never imagined anyone would have a problem with it. Since then, over 30 other wig shops within a couple of miles open shop. Cynthia says the community likes having options when it comes time to buy a wig. They can try here and there so they can more, you know, choose for, you know, the, so they like it. Now there are so many beauty salons and wig stores, the neighborhood has built up a reputation. Crenshaw Boulevard is like the meat of the hair industry in L.A. But while people are coming into Crenshaw to get their hair done, residents need to go out for other services. I always got to go out to the community to, to, to find what I want. Uh, I don't have nothing against wigs or anything like that. I just don't like to see all of them concentrated in one location. Community groups have been pushing for more diversity in Crenshaw for years. Council member Bernard Parks says that he has received complaints about wig shops for over a decade. But no matter how much people don't want them, there isn't much anyone can do. We don't have the ability to cause people to be moved to ask them to close down a business. We certainly do not have a zoning issue that caused barbershops or wig shops to go through a community process. But there may be something more going on with the community and the wig shops. The vast majority of wig shops are owned by Asians, especially Koreans. There are almost 2,000 Korean-owned businesses in the Crenshaw area. Crenshaw is a predominantly black community with a turbulent past. Some community members would rather see the money spent in Crenshaw stay in Crenshaw. They don't support us in our community. They take their money from whatever stores and they go build up Koreatown. So I think that you need to give something back here from where you was created. But if customers don't like Korean-owned businesses, Cynthia doesn't hear about it. No, they are nice. Most customers, they are very nice. Despite residents' concerns and the number of competitors, Cynthia says business is still booming. So for now, it looks like the wig shops are here to stay. Sarah Golden, Annenberg News.